from the old games to fuck me up. From Rogue Shadow... Rogue Shadow 007. Can you make a list of your favorite to least favorite Zelda game that you've played and beaten? I have only ever really played the console games. I don't play the handheld ones. Uh, so I really just played the console ones. Favorite is Ocarina of Time, then Majora's Mask. Then A Link to the Past. Then Wind Waker, then the original Zelda, then Twilight Princess, and then Zelda 2 The Adventure of Link. Because Zelda 2 sucks. <laughs> Number 2, what is your favorite gaming genre? Platformers. What are your thoughts known as the company known as Rare? Can you say some of the games you like, dislike from them? They were a lot better in the early 90s. I do like the Donkey Kong Country series and Diddy Kong Racing, but I don't like Banjo Kazooie. Perfect Dark is okay, and fuck all their recent games because they're just not good. <laughs> Number four, this is from this is from the last question, but have you played Nuts and Bolts? No, and I have no interest in playing it. From Paranoia Sonic. Oh, Paranoia Sonic, I think you spelled that wrong, but whatever. I could be wrong. From him. The ever mind reddling question. Why? The answer is just cuz. From J. Philly with cheese. If you could pick a video game to live in, what would it be? Uh, well, most games tend to be either so surreal I wouldn't want to live in them, or you have constant threat of being killed every five minutes. So I'm probably going to pick Pokemon because it seems the most interesting without any harm to my personal being. <laughs> From potatoes and bacon. One, if a train A leaves Chicago traveling 100 miles per hour and a train B leaves New York traveling 150 miles per hour, and the distance between the two cities is 600 miles. How far from New York will the two trains meet? I don't have time for this, but estimating it right off the top of my head, I would have to guess somewhere a little past the 300 mile mark. I'm not entirely sure, but I'd have to do the math later. Nor am I going to, but whatever. Number two, if you could have anything in the world just for a day, what would it be? Huh. Hmm. If I could have anything in the world for just a day, what would it be? Uh, um, uh, let's see, I don't know. I guess the rights to own Nintendo so I can go into their offices and play all their demos and shit. Number three, name three YouTubers that you can dominate in a fight. I don't fight, I have skinny arms, I can't fight, so I don't think I could beat anyone unless they're like 15 and tiny or something. From the Imagine Sonic. Do you think Sega should redo Sonic 06 and make it better or make a completely new Sonic game? Let's forget Sonic 06 ever happened, please. If you had the power of a Super Saiyan, what would you do? Rule the world. From Kibby69. How did Brain Scratch come together? I already answered that. From Gamer Teens PS3 360. How long do you plan on making videos? As long as I feel like making them, I don't know when I'll stop. So, whenever I don't feel like making them anymore, I guess. From GP3E. Where did the idea of Brain Scratch come from and how did the three of you guys meet? I already answered that. MDH0422. What do you think of Kirby's Epic Yarn? It's okay. I'm not particular. Uh, sorry, I'm not particularly fond of it, but it's okay. From Amaterixon, if you had Sonic Team at your mercy, what games would you make them make remake sequel? Well, I would have them make an actually good follow-up to Knights. Uh, not, uh, obviously, Sonic games. Obviously, I don't really have any interest in them doing anything else. Maybe make an updated version of Crazy Taxi. That would be interesting, but. Whatever. From Exan Shadow, hi. Did you think that you would have gotten a thousand subscribers when you started off making vids? Well, eventually I would have hoped so, but not off the bat. Second question is Who was your biggest inspiration for your vids? Well, I watched a lot of ranters before I started, like Al and Subric and stuff, so. Then I guess they kind of got me started. If BSC were to just stop for some explainable reason, what would you do instead? Get Johnny and Lewis together and make a different commentary channel. From Nets1245, favorite Sonic character? Uh, Sonic. 
favorite video game console? Uh, at 64 or Super Nintendo, can't decide which. From King Zero X, what is your catchphrase? Well, according to the TV Tropes page for Brain Scratch Comms, I have three. Yay, poor claw and huzzah. From the Wolf Boy 007, do you think BSC will let get up to 1 million subs or even YouTube partnership? Uh, I doubt both, considering we've been out for a year and a half and we're only at 3,000. From Kool Aid Armor, from Kool Aid Mario Guy 2, something that gets cut off. Favorite video game? Uh, I don't really have one. What would you think of a Mario Galaxy 3? I'd welcome it if they could make some more unique levels. Favorite 2D Sonic game besides Sonic 3 and Knuckles? Well, then Sonic 2. <laughs> From Dinner 777G, do you have any least favorite consoles? Uh, I had the Neo Geo Pocket Color. I technically still have it, but I don't remember where I placed any of my games for it, so it's kind of useless and I don't particularly like it. Uh, I played a Jaguar once and I hated it. <laughs> From Master Monsters, Mario or Sonic? Uh, if we're going with 2D, it's a tie, but recently Mario. Mega Man or Samus? Uh, I prefer Mega Man games as uh, Troid games. Pokemon or Digimon? The answer is Pokemon at all times. <laughs> if they fought, who would win? Chuck Norris, Superman, Sonic the Power Rangers, and Mega Mushroom Mario? The answer is, of course, Chuck Norris. The Sacred Beast 2000. Who would win in a fight? Solaris Paradox or Sun Comedy Johnny? Uh. Johnny because he's bigger, I guess? I've never seen the two of them next to each other, so I don't know. What is the square root of pi? It is an irrational number, so just plug it in your calculator and do it yourself. From Cheetah 1251. What inspired you to make reviews based on a real-life point of view, i.e. instead of saying Sonic 4, you said vanilla ice cream? Uh, I was too lazy to do real reviews and too busy to really even attempt doing them right now, so I just kind of came up with the idea to do anecdotal reviews, so apparently they're good, so I guess I'll, complete, I'll continue to do them. From Sonic Team 12, Pirates or Ninjas, what is your favorite game series that isn't Mario, Sonic, Samus, and Zelda? Uh, Smash Brothers. <laughs> From Runner Guitar, how did you, Johnny and Lewis, start it? Hard to answer that. Other than at least, what Sonic character would you cancel from existence? Uh, um, I guess it'd have to be someone who's consistently annoying, so maybe a much now. What is your favorite game of all time? Don't have one. Why is your name Nair Man? It's Ryan backwards with man at the end. Chuck Norris versus Captain Falcon. There is no. Ugh. If the two fought, the universe would explode. So. Technically, we would all lose. <laughs> Any advice for beginning LPers? Yes, find someone who is much funnier and more interesting than you are and have them commentate with you. Favorite music gender? I think you mean genre. <laughs> uh, I guess video game soundtracks? I don't particularly have one. Sonic vs. Travis Touchdown? Probably Travis. Other than a train what slash who would you suplex? Uh, probably all of Washington right now. <laughs> If video game females were real and you had a chance with one, who would you go up with? Uh, hmm. I don't know. I guess I'll go with every get a normal guy answer and say some one of the girls from Dead or Alive. <laughs> from Runner Guitar. Oh, continuing on. Sorry. And to end my question, this one begs the answer. A Sega released Sonic Adventure 3 and it came with a special collector's edition with the first, with the Crush 40 disc. Would you buy the normal or the collector's edition? Well, I buy the normal because you can just pirate the music online easily. Would you enjoy the Crush 40 CD? Yes, I would. Do you support Sonic Adventure 3? And what would you like Sonic Adventure 3 to be like story and gameplay-wise? Just take the Sonic and Shadow levels from Adventure 2 and make an entire game based on that. From Dark T769, what is your favorite game system? Probably N64 or Super Nintendo. Sonic Claw. Percussion, brass, wind, or string instruments? Percussion, because that's what I played in high school. From Fallon Gaunt, did you know what you were getting into when you started Brain Scratch? Nope. If it were proper to wear a kind of crowd piece on your head, would you do it? Well, that's a, an entirely big question on social norms, but no. Why did you join YouTube? Because I felt like making videos. 
What is your favorite anime? Probably Cowboy Bebop. Did you think that your metaphoric reviews would be so popular? No, actually no. I thought I would get lambasted for the fact that they make no sense. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck of a woodchuck chuck chuck wood? Uh, probably a whole lot of wood. <laughs> Do you like mudkips? Of course I like mudkips. Don't we all like mudkips? Are you actually going to read through all of these? Yes, I am. From Artist Material 09. Any games you always wanted to play yet never got the chance to? Uh, a lot of arcade type games that are hard to find. Uh, a lot of import games that I'd be interested in playing, but I haven't really gotten the chance to. From Mega the Mouse 54397, what do you think about Epic Mickey and have I played it? Uh, I'm planning on playing it during winter break when I have the time to, but I have not played it yet. Um, I'm just happy Disney's using Mickey for something worthwhile instead of just slapping him on products at Disney World instead of actually making cartoons like they should. From Biz Number One, are some of these questions annoying? Yes. Number two, if I drop a dime down a cliff, would you jump down and get it? No. What's worse, Red Ring of Death or the Yellow Light of Doom? They're both the same thing. <laughs> Four, do you have cooties? No. Five, can I give you a head? Unless you're a hot girl, then no. Six, why do you touch yourself at night? <laughs> what? <laughs> Game Freak XD2. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck for woodchuck could be Chuck Norris? A lot more wood than a regular woodchuck would be able to because he's Chuck Norris. Are you tired of Chuck Norris and the jokes? Uh, not really. What is your favorite game system and on that system, what's your favorite games? Probably N64 with Mario 64. Have you ever pwned Zura Noob? Yes, a lot of times on first person shooters. I'm not all that good at them, but I have pwned Zora some noobs. Do you know how to Triforce? I assume you're talking about noobs don't know how to Triforce, aka putting the Triforce in ASCII. Uh, I know how to, yes, it's not hard. From Foul and Gaunt again. Oh, I forgot to ask. Why is a raven like a writing desk? I don't know. From Ed Freak 9001 Why the name Nearman 214? Nearman because Ryan backwards plus man and 214 because that's the date of my birthday. So whatever. Front end is, and another question. What is the average airspeed of an unladen swallow? What do you mean? An African or European swallow? <laughs> From the gobskull. Who would win in a fight? You, Solaris, Johnny, or Clement? No guns or knives are allowed, but everything else is fair game. I don't know, but Clement responded saying he's the dirtiest fighter around and, they wouldn't, and we all wouldn't last one minute. So I'm just going to take Clement's word for it and say, sure, him. <laughs> if you had to choose a movie title for your life story, what would it be? Nothing interesting happens. Where were you when he thought up the idea of Brain Scratch Comps? I don't know, my memory is fuzzy. Have you ever heard of Yatterman slash Time Vokan? Uh, yes, I have heard of Yatterman and Time Vokan. I'm a big anime fan. Mega Man Classic or Mega Man X? Probably the classic games. If you, Solaris, Johnny, and Clement were stuck on a distant island, who would you eat first? Whoever was the most useless. From Clucky to the Three, what do you think Kirby's reaction would be to Kirby's epic yarn? His reaction that he does to everything, inhale it and steal its powers. <laughs> From Gunfight09, what inspired you to LP games? Uh, probably Hellfire and Ace Spark. I want to start LPing soon, so what good advice are you willing to share? Again, find someone who's much funnier and more interesting than you to help you let's play stuff. From Sunbeam423, where did the name Brain Scratch Comms come from? From the episode of Cowboy Bebop. From Crazeling0. Have you ever imported any games? The only game I've ever imported on my own was Jump Ultimate Stars for the DS because I love Smash Brothers and it's basically that was shown in Jump Characters. Back in the day, my friend had an import copy of Dragon Ball GT Final Battle, which is a complete piece of shit. From Dante Saito Loo. Why do you hate the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya series so much? I don't hate it, I just think it's severely overrated for what it is. Have you ever played and how and do you ever plan on LPing any of the Tales of Serious games? Uh no. No, I don't. From Rinnick Bob Brawl9931. What is your best and worst Sonic game of all time? My favorite one is Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and the worst one I've ever played is Sonic 06, although I hear Sonic Labyrinth is even worse. From JDB Hightop, I have three questions. What is your favorite video game franchise? Uh Probably the Mario franchise. Where's your favorite video game genre? Platformers. And what is your least favorite video game genre? 
uh, turn-based RPGs, I don't really have a thing for them. I do like Pokemon, and I do like some turn-based RPGs, but most of them I don't care for because they're just boring. From Star Soul Killer. What video game genres would you consider your most least favorite to play? I just answered that. Please 